You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, here we are in Honda Center in Anaheim, California. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. Combinations here. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Good job defensively there to block the strike by Pantoja. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Pantoja gets the single leg takedown. Oh, that is a high level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Ursaic's going for an arm here. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Just over two minutes, round one. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? A lot of top pressure being applied here. Ursay getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. All right, they separate now. We'll see who can get off in space. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Pantoja's overhand punch to the head doesn't get there blocked by the defense. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Pantoja's trying to lock up on a submission now. Arm's still not out of harm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. Oh, How about stop, this stop, fight, folks? You stop. see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Nicely done to the body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start protecting. Single leg takedown. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back. Byers. Hard shots landing on both sides here. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. That knee. 
That knee hurt him. Yes, the single collar tie now. One of the most important strikes from the clinch is the big body shot. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on How about the accuracy of land right there? His opponent's wobble chip. Shot like that. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Oh, right into Mount. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass. Oh, he's out. Ursay gets back up. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has cooled, found his rhythm, found the range. Oh! Oh, he's oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. First eggs in half guard. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Working out of the half guard here. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Four. Round three of a possible five. Oh, effective use of the jab by Ursa. Yeah. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, big left. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and it's almost like they let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want it. Pantos is going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. It looks like the arm triangle is getting very close. Now he's got to get off to the side, drop his chest to the mat, and get the finish. Great submission defense. It worked. It worked. Back to his feet. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, gets up to beat his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. That shot blocked by Pantosha. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to... Oh, slams his opponent to the ground. There it is again. Look at that. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with... Oh. Uh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. 
Oh, landed some big shots, too. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. He's got to start throwing down. Oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants his badly. Looks like a pretty good attempt here. Side control now. Looks like oh, God. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the oh, round. God. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. Her sags in half goal. Now he's going full mount. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the pass and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Gotta be careful here. Oh, great reversal to top position by Pantoja. There it is, now he's going to mount. Beautiful grounded pound, and now he's got his opponent cut. Oh, he got to the spot. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Ursa. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Pantos is back in full mount. Lands the ground and pound strike. Takes his back now. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, that is tight. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, that's got to be it. Come on. That is so deep. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Pantoja's back inside control. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Oh, big elbow. Ursex in half guard now. Changing the position. for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself, and look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing,
they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Pantoja's eye is starting to swell shut. Light kick there by Pantoja. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Pantoja's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Nice work there by Pantoja. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Nice transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission of big ground By working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Ninety seconds to go to decide this one. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Why well, we told you to keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wise. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. While well, the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Steve Ursa. So the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display tonight. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and new very shortly. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-46, and 48-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed USC flyweight champion of the world, So how about this result tonight?
this should shut up some of the flyweight naysayers, right? We got a new UFC flyweight champion, and he looked like one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world tonight. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and he has the charisma to make people care about the 125-pound division. Great job by this young man.